they're you know that they do have some points they do they do have some points but it's like if you don't know what the good is you're gonna take the good with the bad you may think that something good is bad you may think something bad is good so you know how are you going to understand what's welcome to master reflections where you are the master of your past present and future good bad or indifferent i hope you learned something and spread the message common sense is not so common anymore Let's dig up our master reflections and analyze them for the benefit of us all. Thank you for joining me. Now, let's get into it. Hey, hey, everybody. As you can see, today is another Car Chronicle. So today, I am going back to the dentist. This is like my fourth visit since December. And I... Um, hold on. It's a different road I'm not used to. Got to make sure nobody's going to hit me. And, okay. So, um, so yes, this is my fourth time back to the dentist because I had so much work that needed to get done. Uh, I had to split it up in, in different um, appointments. And this one right here is the biggest one. I have to get, like, I have a cap. I have, like, four caps on my teeth, right, on my molars. And this particular one is up here. Well, the cavity in front of it had a, a, a silver filling. And that tooth, because my teeth shipper, shipped around all the time, it pushed up against that other tooth with the cap on it. And it the cap wasn't seated correctly. And because I have weird um, indentations and things like that. So it wasn't seated correctly. And when it pushed up on that cap, it trapped food in there. And it created a cavity up underneath of the cap and this is a just a diabolically terrible situation i don't have any pain i can't feel anything but i definitely saw it on the x-rays that there is a, a, a problem there's a dark area there and i just hope to god that it's not rotten to the core underneath of there and they can save some of my teeth or my tooth um, so i'm i'm really worried about today but anyway today is not about my teeth but dental health oral health is very important it, it is absolutely very important and, and to take care of yourself and everything it's very important so you know today I hope that I leave out of here with simply a, a new impression for a new cap and a new seating another time and that'll be it I hope I don't have to have no now let's talk that into existence you know um and let's let's speak stuff into existence you guys so i'm not gonna need a really huge filling or a root canal but i'm just gonna get it cleaned up and everything's gonna be great so and i do believe that i do believe that you have to believe so i'm gonna speak that into existence now because i need the universe to get this in order in the next 20 minutes <laughs> so um so yeah, so today's topic of discussion is going to be about, um, you know, another YouTuber that I saw, and I, I typically don't respond to or, or do reaction videos and things like that, but this particular thing I hadn't seen anybody else talk about, and uh, I think that they hit some points, and I can understand where they came from. It's Abba and Preach, you know. I came across Abba and Preach maybe about a year ago or so. And I like them, I like their back and forth. I like the way that the two of them have different opinions of things, but they still kind of come together, you know, harmoniously on, you know, on several different points. And that's what, that's, that's what it's all about, you know, in the world, have different opinions. And so with any, anyway, with um, this particular video, it's about, it's about validating the red pill guys. So I can't remember the name, of their video but I think it's something along the lines of why it's important to have red pill guys and um, before before this um, I never really thought about the whole red pill I, I never knew what red pill was uh, to be honest with you I, I know that some of the tenets of the way they think are different uh, then I'm used to different than normal uh, or, or maybe it's not so different than normal um, but um, but yeah so 
with that said, Abba and Preach were saying that they believe it's important to have a red pill community, a red pill guy or whatever, because um, it shows like diversity. It shows like, um, uh, it, it shows men what to do in a certain case or whatever. And um, they were saying that it, it was um, nice to have red pill guys i'm trying to see what looks best on camera <laughs> they were saying that it's best to have um a male point of view out there because what they have experienced in life as two dudes is uh the fact that there's not a lot of representation in their opinion for men to uh to to hone this information on in life so like my channel is definitely about positivity, but it's more so about giving people advice and reflecting on yourself, reflecting on whatever ideas and things and stuff like that that I can throw out there or my memories, my experiences. So it'll help you get forward in life. So like, I, I don't like to learn things the hard way. I, I do not have to learn things the hard way. As a matter of fact, when God gives me a hard lesson, I go, wait a minute, God, you know, we could have learned this some I could have learned this another way. I I you know I, I appreciate understanding in the in the future and understanding going forward, but uh I didn't have to learn this way. I'm 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 good with learning the easy way. I'm good with learning somebody else's uh trials, tribulations, turmoil, or good you know happenings I'm good learning through them so if I know what someone else went through if I can see it or I can hear about it even if it's third party I'm good with learning that way so I don't have to learn things the hard way but um, you know it's if but it's like I give out this information so hopefully someone else doesn't have to come along and do things the hard way it's it, a lot of people uh, in the generation you know, a couple generations ago or whatever, a lot of people were raised on the TV. A lot of people, you know, so you can't, you can't learn about life through the TV um, if there's nothing good on that will teach you that. And also you have to, you have to experience things. You have to see things for yourself a lot of times. And um, so it's, it's a culmination of things. It's, you know, and then the way you think about things, the way you go about things, the way you learn, you know, all of that stuff matters. So um, with Abba and Preach, they were saying that it, it was a void out in the world and on YouTube for men to have their voice heard. And so, you know, I can't remember whether or not it was Abba or Preach that was saying that they, they were growing up and they needed advice and they were, um, they they didn't quite know how to how to do things they just kept hitting brick walls the men around them would tell them well just deal with it um and they would be like well you know I, I why does this woman get to get away with this that, and the other and i get held to the fire for things that i don't really feel like it's a problem on my end i don't quite understand it and nobody is teaching me how so they were saying they can see how some people, a lot of people, a lot of people, a lot of men are going to these red pill guys like Mr. KS that way. Um, and, and a few of other different individuals that's out there. Um, OD, you know, like there's a lot of different red pill guys out there that have YouTube channels and stuff. And, um, uh, you know, what, yeah, it's a lot. And so those guys do fill a void for people who are looking for either validation on how they think about things or direction on how to be when it comes to relationships or simply just being a man. And um, and I get that. They're, they're saying that it's, it's important. They had this, I mean, like seriously, if y'all, look, I'll leave a link to their video. You guys need to go and look at this video. They get all emotional and stuff about this person filling in or that person filling in a void in which they didn't have before. And, and look, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Um, 
you know, I, I have an issue with the red pill guys. I do. I, I have a huge issue with the red pill guys because to me, a red pill guy is all about chauvinism. That's all they are to me. They are chauvinistic pigs and, um, you know, they, they, so hypergamy with a woman, you know, you think about hypergamy and that's when a woman thinks a lot higher of herself um, and, and, or she thinks of herself as she is. So if you want to, if you want to get up, like I used to tell people, and I used to tell people, I tell people in my videos all the time, you should date up. Date up, always date up. You're a woman, you're a catch, you're the prize. Date up. I don't deal with dusties. Date up. Date up. Okay, and that's hypergamy. So, so what it is is that I'm looking for something that will make, that will take care of me, that will have my back, that will, um, you know, fill all the, check all the boxes uh, of, of manhood on this person that I'm looking for, or, 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 or you know, will get with in the future that I don't have to worry about as far as masculinity is concerned. So I let the man be a man, I be a woman, and, and that's it, you know. But with red pill guys, is look, it's a whole nother world. That's a whole nother video. I'm not even gonna get into it. They're chauvinistic pigs. On the, just they, they want a woman to look a certain way, act a certain way, talk a certain way, but they wanna always be able to have her like not on a pedestal she's in a chair he's on the pedestal and um I, I was not raised that way i do not think that way and it's not because i was raised that way it's because i really do not believe in putting a man up on a pedestal like i believe that we are equals you know you the king i'm the queen that's that's what i believe and um and i believe that people have to be yoked i believe that um you know just because a woman may make you know a whole lot less than a man that may make six figures or whatever it doesn't mean that she is less than it means that they kind of complement each other it means that that you know this particular relationship will work you know nobody has to worry about competition competing with time competing with money competing i mean like and that's another thing men be competing and stuff i don't get that but i have found that it was better for a man to make more than the woman you know, there's few men out there that are okay with a woman making more than a man, um, unless he's there to, to take handouts and use her, and 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 you know he is a part of his feminine. You know, I I just I, I'm sorry. I that's what I believe. You know, you can believe whatever you want to believe, but I find that it's better a lot of times for the man to make more money. If not, you guys are equal because there will be a problem. And, and if his ego ain't hurt, his pockets is hurt, or her pockets is hurt because of him, look, that's not hypergamy. But look, that's neither here nor there. So back to the red pill guys. So red pill guys, you know, believe that, you know, they're owed the world. Um, uh, a woman should be happy because she is with a man. And um, I, I just, <laughs> golly, you know, it's, it's, it's like pink Misha's are perfect for red pill guys perfect because they validate him in every way and 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 they just are happy with their man and he can do anything that he wants to it's not it's not cool <laughs> it's just, oh. but anyway this is these are the guys that Abra and preacher saying are wonderful these are the guys that Abra and preacher saying you know um it's great they fill a void and we need them and we're happy that they're here. And I, for one, uh, I don't believe that. I believe that uh, the red pill guys are toxic. They are the toxic men that your mama wants you to stay away from. They are the people that are not there that's, that's looking out for you. They're looking out simply for self. And, and the faster you realize that, the faster you will correct your, your, your actions and your ways about going about any daggone thing and you'll move on to something that's a whole lot more productive and better for you um i believe that these red pill guys uh uh they 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 need training themselves they need these red pill guys need a reality check you know they need to know what it is to be a man instead of listening to you know a few joe schmo no ones that uh you know have gotten by on their uh chauvinism and and pickish ways and uh how do you say um 
you know, just, just mansplaining everything, you know, like I know men, they do have a different way of talking to each other and everything, but you know, you have to treat a woman with respect. You have to, you have to shower her with, you know, affection, gifts or whatever that you can to show that, you know, she is, she's a beautiful individual to you and that she means a whole lot. You know, like it's, it's with, with red pill guys, it seems like, oh God, it seems like, it's like, um, this guy is just driving way too damn fast and I had to get over it. But anyway, so, um, uh, you have to, you have to show that, um, you, you know, you, you care about somebody. It cannot be one-sided. With red pill guys, it's really a one-sided situation. They're going to eat you up and spit you out when you realize your worth, you know. And, and, then, and then not to mention, a lot of these red pill guys are, um, they red pill and they're not even on that level like they not eat they don't even make no money they don't have a whole lot of anything these guys are just like just scum little dirt bags that have nothing they are living the hypergamous life you know they they are like i'm supposed to be hypergamous you're supposed to go out there and be the hunter and the gatherer and everything and i'm supposed to make the stuff at home and you know cook it and everything and and all that other stuff you know that's how i think um you know and i but i i don't have a problem with working i don't have a problem with contributing i don't have a problem with raising the kids i don't have a problem with any of those things but you know like everybody's our household is different but the 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 the, the talk that these guys just give um I just oh is 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 a terrible message and so people want to figure out why in the world this is um this particular thing is uh is, is thought of this way people want to they're like well you know what's wrong with with this i don't i don't get it and the, the issue is um it's just the blind leading the blind so you have one person and their thoughts and their views on how to make a toxic situation uh and and uh and degrade a woman and get her into thinking that she's only good if she is with a man and then you know if you know she doesn't fall in line then you discard her and you tell her that she's trash and you tell her that she's not worth better than you do uh, like i i don't i don't i don't see that there's anything good in that and these people are just reinforcing this between each other and then you have the dummy women that are calling in and seeking validation from these people and they drag them through the mud just for fun you know it's it just sport to them it's sport it's like they, let me see how we could take this woman and chop her down and so that what they do is they take that the, those images and these videos and things like that and they chop a woman down later on they chop her down in their own personal lives so they chop her down in the video this guy these guys are teaching how to chop women down and then chop them down in real life happens because these people are being taught that this is how you have to treat women this is this is what's good this is what's you know no that's not the truth that's that's not how it is i mean i don't know how we got so lopsided in this world it's so much so much like feminine freaking energy out here it's ridiculous it is absolutely ridiculous and god forbid i embrace my man in me you know like i go you know i get my masculine on oh she's the masculine oh she's this she needs to be softer and then when i am softer oh she's a pushover she's a, god damn it make up your mind and then it's like i look me personally i'm soft i look if we are both in the mirror and you are worried about how you look and you prepping and you looking sleek and shinier than I am. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. I do not like that. There is a song by the Eurythmics that was done like, I don't know if it was in the 80s or whatever because I was a little girl. But anyway, so this um th this this um song, I don't even know if I was born at this time. But I, I don't know. The Eurythmics is the old group. I freaking love them. Everybody knows them for like sweet dreams. Sweet dreams are made of this. So, um, <laughs> you like my singing? <laughs> Um, but they have, they have a song called, I need a man. And so 
that so i think y'all should go back and look at that and he's like um don't double comb your hair don't powder puff don't need that stuff i like my fingers bare yes yes i need a man and then so it's so when she's singing she's not saying that i need a man i have to have a man to complete me please red pill guy come validate me and complete me she's like no i need a man with some masculinity i need a man with some chest hairs i need a man with some pets i need a man that's gonna go and do the dang on things somewhere i need a man i need a man i need some masculineness i need some musk yes musk. anyway i'm sorry um got into my head there so um so that's that's what that's what that song is about and and that's not what these pansy ass you know these feminine dudes like seriously stop it i'm the female i'm i'm you know i'm the powder puff i'm i'm wearing the pink i you know like real man wears pink you know you remember sean diddy Combs said that uh, no no we don't you know you can rock pink but you still gotta have that masculinity with it if you do it but it's too many men that want to wear pink pants you know like come on now that that's not manly that's not manly that's not that's not, that's not manly you know so boy oh boy you know like if you're gonna wear some nail polish and not have it bare like they say on the eurythmics then um go ahead and and uh you know do it like johnny depp used to do it you know pinch your fingers black you know go run around I, mm, yeah johnny depp. anyway so um but yeah i i i, I wholeheartedly feel like Abba and Preach could have made a better video when it came to validating red pill guys. And and you know what? We all have freedom of speech and we all can say what we want. We all can believe in what we want to. But this red pill thing has to be counterbalanced. It definitely has to be counterbalanced. I cannot have my son growing up because I don't know whether or not I'm going to have another relationship. I do believe that I will, but right now I'm just chilling. I'm me. I'm dealing with what I got to deal with. I, you know, I've I've already asked a guy that is not a red pill thinking guy um, if he can mentor my son. You know, old family friend, good guy, good guy. But you know, he's 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 a great guy. You know, he mentors kids all over the place and everything now already. That's what he does. Um, and um, you know, so I'm like, well, you know, I'll come around and, you know, my son can hang out with you, you know, so we're all going to be there. And, you know, I've already asked him to do that. Uh, other family members, I've already asked him to do that. Hey, everybody, I am totally interrupting my video. Um, I wanted to also point out because these are some of the, the things that I didn't point out in my original video in which you'll see it all together. But um, I want to say. The responsibility for a man becoming a man and learning who he is has a lot to do with his environment. Just as I pointed out with my son, and I'm having a mentor step in to make sure that he always gets that because I'm a single parent now. And you know, um, my ex, I don't know where he's gonna be. He's certainly not full-time because we're not together, correct? So if that's the case, then his son requires to have a mentor step in and what about the people who don't necessarily have to have a mentor step in then you have the people who are in the house you know Abbott and Preach have pointed out that the reason why they felt lost is because they didn't get the answers in which they were looking for from the males that was already in their lives and I wanted to point out that it is a male's responsibility to take care and teach the new and upcoming males exactly what's what to tell somebody that they should just deal with it, well, that's how things are, and to just get over it and, and, and go on about their life is wrong. Men have to take responsibility for the upbringing and the upkeep of men that are coming up, that are coming of age, and to mentor these children into being good adult citizens. And that means to teach this child, this boy child, how to go about life, what their, um, what their duties and responsibilities are what how it is to take care of a woman and and how these interactions should go and what to do if the woman does x and then they do y you know so and it's important for a male 
to have someone that they can call and they can confide in and they can trust in because the reason why a lot of things a lot of a, a lot of um cycles keep repeating is because it's just that a cycle so if you have a drug dealer who has a kid or who decides to get with a woman who has children that child now grows up and they're part of the fam you know they 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 become like their figure that they looked up to they become another drug dealer they become a drug user they become an abuser when if they were to have a good foundation and a good mentor then they can become a good asset to society they could become someone who loves and honors and cherishes women they they know that they they don't have to be mad at their mother for being a single parent they could be happy that their mother maybe had left the situation or was strong enough to keep things going and they would be happy that their parent took the time to make sure that they were a healthy and upstanding citizen and um and not you know ran to the next man or something or maybe that they they picked a better person for them to grow up around instead of continuing any sort of cycle of dysfunction and so it's up to men to take care of other men and other young men coming up so mentorship is definitely definitely important as women we get that there's a lot of women mentor out here mentors that you can find you know my sister being one of them she mentors young girls all the time and I mean like it's admirable she's part of a whole entire group of people who does that I have my daughter to mentor I mentor the, the females in my family I'm doing this channel I'm trying to do my part as far as mentoring well, what are you men doing you're leaving each other out to the wind and people, the, the, the guys of this society, this, this generation especially, are looking towards strangers on YouTube to tell them how to go and how things are, are, how things are supposed to go. They're looking, they're telling women that they should be one way and they should accept BS from guys because they simply have an appendage. And to give them a pass because the average amount of money that maybe a person makes is like 42 grand. Uh, that's what they say. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if those figures are actually true because I know a ton of men in my life and none of them make that little bit amount of money. None of them. So, you know, I don't, I don't know. Maybe you need to get outside of your bubbles and find someone who you can actually look up to and has good morals, good values, and good ways of going about getting better out of life than some red pill guy who's a chauvinistic pig and is, is only up there on his you know man box speaking about how he wants his kingdom to be. It starts at home, that's my point. It starts at home, it starts at home. You know, so the fact that all of you men out here who are leaving women single with kids, go back and mentor your damn children. Go mentor and raise your fucking children. Back to our regularly scheduled program. Let's say, let's say that my son didn't have any of those things that I tried to seek out and set up for him to make sure that he is guided in the proper direction. What if the only thing my son could do is look up on YouTube and see KS or OD or you know CD, or, you know all those different people that do that carry on that red pill mantra and a few other different guys. It's absolutely terrible. What if my son? just got a hold of that kind of stuff and that's what he's looking at that's what he's thinking about that this is how he's going to proceed with life because he thinks that this is the way to be and it's like oh I have done an absolute disservice to him by not making sure that he gets the proper training the proper influences the proper way of thinking when it came to man woman life relationships you know um so you know, I, I just I just say that there has to be a, a definite balance. Uh, a lot of the stuff that they say is toxic, is bad. Don't don't listen to it. But they're you know that they, they do have some points. They do. They do have some points. But it's like if you don't know what the good is, you're gonna take the good with the bad. You may think that something good is bad. You may think something bad is good. So you know how are you gonna understand what's going on? I 
would like some purple pill, guys. Can I get some purple pill, guys? Can we mix a little bit of the blue with a little bit of the red and we make some purple? And you know, because every now and then you do need to let out a little chauvinist, guys. You do. Every now and then you do have to have a little bit of a softer side. You do. You have to listen to us. You do. Golly. So, you know, look. Can we get some purple pill, guys? Anyway, I'm about to pull up on my appointment. I am running like five minutes late. Uh, so far so I got another two minutes to drive and I am going to do it as fast as I can I'm gonna cut off some people run some lights everything else so um thanks for joining me in uh, my uh, my talk today my my master reflection today and go check out their video tell me what you think I think that it definitely needs to be a counterbalance out here some of the guys that, that don't think like them need to go on their page and need to talk to these red pill guys and tell them and correct them and tell them how to be and how to think and how to how to treat a woman for real and and they get that discussion going they're not gonna listen to it from me they're not gonna listen to it from another woman you know they, there's a whole bunch of people that's out here divesting from you know what they know uh, to, to go off and find something else because you know you have people who think this terrible thing like these guys do you know so so um not not preach I've been preaching I'm talking about like the red pill guys you know so it's like who why do you need to divest you don't need to divest you need to fix what you are, are working with right now you know so um fix it fix it guys you guys fix this this is your fight you know this is what you do all right I'm pulling up on this thing right now I will talk to you guys later. I am out. Miss K is out. And I will talk to you another time. Please remember to like and subscribe. And check out my 900th thank you video. Um, because I got, I got over 900 subscribers now. And I am so, so blessed. I feel so lucky to have everyone on my page to subscribe to me as uh, you know as you are and and I cannot wait to make that 1,000 milestone and I have something special lined up I'm gonna have a giveaway so make sure you sign up if you're the thousand person you will get that and uh, 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 y'all do that uh, I will talk to you later okay bye guys thanks for listening to me uh, Miss Kay's out